Hello, my name is Rez Mani and I work for Allied Scientific Pro. In this video, I would like to demonstrate the uh, occurrence of single event upset on an SRAM HM6504. Uh, you can see that we have mounted the decapsulated SRAM uh, on an Arduino board, which has, uh, this has 64 by 64 matrix uh, cells. And you can also see it in the camera here that uh, the camera, IR camera, near IR camera is focused on the cells. And we also have the ability to move these, if you can come over here and show that we can move uh, the beams. So there's this lab view program that, you know, I can, you know, if you can just look at it, when I touch these buttons, I can move in different directions. You can see that we can move it. So what we would like to do is we want to demonstrate that uh, first we would write a 1 to all 4096 cells uh, using the Arduino. Uh, so here I'm going to start the Arduino uh, board and first we do a, a write. Okay, so actually let's do a read first. Just let's do a read first. Uh, can you put your the, the white wire on the, on, uh, on the read mode which will be on high? Yes. So let's do a read first quickly. Uh, so and then press the button. We'll see what there is. We'll just read what there is on the on the cells. So if you come over here, you see that the most of the cells are zero. So it has to go through these 4,096 cells, and then after that, I'll show that we will uh, we will change that to one. So here you see the decapsulated cells. They're all mounted on this Arduino board. And this is working its way through about 2,000. So if you, if you wait a little bit longer, it's going to read that all the cells are zero. But we want to try to flip the cells from one to zero using the laser. So that's the upset that we are looking for. So 3,800, and it's almost done, and it's done. Okay. So over here you can see that some of them are 1, some of them are 0, it's an undefined state. You can see zeros and 1s and everything. We have all these Q has the, the value of the cell. So now my colleague would uh, put that into the write mode and we would write a 1 to all the cells. So I will clear output here and he's put and you press a button. And now it's writing, so we have to wait for a writing uh, so that it writes a 1 to all the cells. Hold on to this. It's writing a 1 to all the cells. So if you could just stay uh, patient for about a minute or so, we would write 1 to all the cells. And then we have to do a read. To make sure that it is actually a one. So right now it's about 2700, 2800, 32, 34, and okay, it's done. So now let's uh, just clear the output and let's do a read which means that you have to put that wire, uh, the read wire, basically on high. So we, we and then we would just uh, flip, press that switch. And now you see all the cells are one. So we we'll wait till it writes to all the cells. So we're monitoring that all the cells are one in here. There are no zeros. So we don't have to check that afterwards. Uh, it's all one.
It's about 3,000. This is in the read mode. Okay. Done. So at this point, we're going to shine the laser. So go ahead and shoot the laser. Uh, and then I will also uh, do some movement. Is moving, so I'm just going to move a few points. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm moving the other direction. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, stop that. Okay. So uh, we already uh, shone the laser on the chip and then we do a read. We did a read uh, basically after the laser shone, was shone on the, on the chip and then we saw the, the data, we recorded the data which I've already pasted in the notepad. This is all the data so you can see most of the cells are still one. So we're going to search for if there has been any upset some of these cells should be turning to zero. So we just do a control F and then let's first search for Q equal to 1 which is the output. Control C in here and control V and let's search for Q and you can see that all these ones are there. But what about zero? Are there any zeros? Let's try for that. And there you go. At cell 720 there has been an upset. And then 721, 722, 723 and then next one 848, 849, 850. 851 and that was the last one so we saw that a total of eight cells of the SRAM have flipped from one to zero when we shone the laser uh, uh, on it so this is a proof of SCU and this is a proof that we can uh, do a, a switch from one to zero uh, when we wrote one to all the cells a uh, few of the cells turned back to uh, zero when we shone the laser Thank you very much. I hope you find this video useful for your SEU and generally SEE testing. Thank you.